sometimes the best way to deal with tragedy is to get right back into your regular routine, not forgetting about the past, but using it as a reminder to cherish the present. The thoughts, the emotions, the memories for the Humboldt Broncos, their players, their parents, their fans, they are, of course, still raw following April's incident. But as the community continues to pick up the pieces and move forward, Gene Principe provides the glimpse into a new beginning. It looks like and sounds like the kind of hockey practice we've all seen. Players joking around. Coaches giving out instructions for the Humboldt Broncos. We have never seen a team gel quicker. This is a very tight knit group. Which was the best way to describe last season's team until the night of April 6th. A bus carrying the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League's Humboldt Broncos crashed with a semi trailer. The community of Humboldt, the province of Saskatchewan, the entire country trying to come to grips today with what happened. We are heartbroken and completely devastated by the tragedy that occurred yesterday. 16 people lost their lives on a stretch of Saskatchewan Highway, an unthinkable tragedy. Among the survivors are Derek Patter and Braden Camrude. Both are back with the Broncos. I cherish every single memory that I've ever made with the guys that I had from last year. We were such a tight group and, you know, there were so many things that we did with one another and, you know, so many things that, you know, we were just so close with and I think that uh, I was just, I'm so thankful and happy to have gotten to know them and, and have played with them and um, I kind of owe it to these guys this year to, to step up and be a leader. Memories of the bus crash remain here inside the Broncos home arena. A memorial at one end, a stick, ribbon and cross with the names of the crash victims at the other end. On the ice is a team rebuilt one player at a time. I knew a few of the guys on the team last year and I felt like it was a huge opportunity for, for me to come in here and to honor them and play for play for everything that's happened and I could not pass it up. Days after the crash, the arena was full of people and emotion. A goodbye to those who lost their lives. Across our region, our province, our country and our globe, we will find strength in one another. Over these past five months of mourning, the Humboldt Broncos are still healing. The next step for this hockey club is a sold out home opener. First game of any hockey season, there's going to be some nerves for the players. I think this is extra special here in Humboldt uh, from the moment they decided to play this season. They've been very supportive and welcoming to me. Uh, and I think, you know, the amount of people that came out to our green and white or green and gold game a couple weeks ago shows that, you know, they're here to support us. I think that the community has realized um, how much this team really means to them. And I think that from a player's perspective that we realize how much we mean to the community. And I think that it's important for us to make sure that we continue to be, you know, something that they can have a little bit of hope around. It is hard to predict how Wednesday night will go because no one here has ever been through anything like this before. The Broncos will honor last season's team after the game, but first will concentrate on their season opener against Nipawin. You may remember that's the same team the Broncos were facing in the playoffs before that crash changed everything. Gene Prince Bay, Sportsnet, Humboldt, Saskatchewan.